nice. I got something I want to show you. Right here. I made it on my wife's pink sewing machine. By the way, Randy, with his survival. Um, here we go. What I got here is a digital camo bag. And this is scraps left over, the digital camo, from uh, a couple of hammocks I made, one for my wife and everything. But what I got here, there's the bag. It's got the little strings to tighten it up and tie a knot in it or whatever. I was going to put a spring keeper on there, but they're kind of expensive so this is what I got right here I don't know if you can see me through there but I got this material from Hancock Fabric and it is five feet wide it's netting the holes are uh, a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch so what I did here was I made what's called a bundled end hammock and I'm not going to take it apart to show you but you don't have to sew anything on this but you can go on YouTube and just type in bundled end hammock and they'll show you how to go about tying and this is just simple 550 paracord so um, what's cool about this thing is when we go camping you can spread it out and find a stick and put one on each end one here and one here and two people can walk and use this as a minnow stain to catch minnows for catching trout you know whatever smallmouth bass whatever fish is going to eat a minnow but it works great as a hammock my son loves it and I've seen five kids inside this thing and I've had two adults inside this thing and it, it holds up great but um, what we do here is I use a old ratchet straps where the ratchet has actually broken you know the nylon webbing that's about an inch inch and an eighth wide and you got some things that when you, you know, want to tighten the load down I use the uh, long end and I run it around the tree kind of like a tree hugger strap and then you can come make a loop with the nylon strap and put a nail or a stick through it and so ultimately what you're doing is you're setting this and hanging it on that knot and then you can make it whatever length you want. So norm, you know, normally I have those in the bag as well, the the old ratchet straps. Simple as hell to do. All you got to do is buy like nine yards or nine yards, three yards of fabric, and just bundle the end and you tie this the way they tell you to on that YouTube video. Like I said, I don't want to take it apart, and I'm, I don't have the material to build a, another one. But I just wanted to show you this and it's simple this thing cost me le less than 20 bucks and it'll probably last forever the bag is pretty water resistant you know I sprayed it with a silicone spray I'll run and grab that spray real quick One second. this is available at Walmart I'm going to show you the brand up close. It says silicone water guard. And this bio, this this can right here is uh 5 bucks at Walmart. And I sprayed my hammock tarp that I made. And this thing I I mean, I could have drank it swam in it when it rained when we were camping. So this stuff is really cool. And it won't ruin anything. So I sprayed the bag with that and 
it's fairly water resistant and then when you're so you don't lose the bag once you get your hammock set up you can just tie the knot around it and it'll hang from there this is Liam's hammock my son's but yeah I mean you can see I'll scoot back you can see this makes a pretty big minnow saying you can take two people a stick on each side and just drag it in the river drag it in the river and then lift it from the bottom and you get everything from crawdads to leeches and you know minnows but this thing I just wanted to show everybody give people some ideas this thing is uh worth every bit of twenty dollars it's a dual purpose and again if, I mean if you're out there and it's not working properly and you need a bigger net you can undo this knot but um, make sure you have a diagram or you're really familiar with how to redo it because right now I couldn't show you how to do it again but it works out really good the knot's really strong you got double 550 paracord here, so you're somewhere around 1, 1,100 pounds just with that. So I've seen the kids bouncing in it. Liam likes to get in it, curl himself around like like this, and then turn upside down and take a nap. He likes to face the ground when he takes a nap in it really he's a silly kid maybe it's a vampire am I really his dad huh vampire children they freak me out have a great day guys this is Randy with Sid Survival and uh, Hancock fabric you can buy this if you have a local one it's cheaper you don't have to pay shipping but I got this on sale and I think I paid for I bought, I think I bought five yards and I think I paid 12 or 15 bucks. So I got scraps. I made a trout net to scoop in and pick my trout up when I catch a trout too. So it's pretty neat stuff. It's very strong, by the way. So you guys have a great day. Thank our troops anytime you see them.